hey guys welcome back to my channel medical meaning in this video uh, we are going to talk about the common sites of fractures in humerus bone so this is a video for anatomy so let's get started so here i am drawing the humerus bone uh, so this is the anterior side of humerus bone and obviously this is the right side humerus bone in this video, I'm dividing the fracture sites into three parts. The first part is the proximal end of the humerus. So the proximal meaning the upper end of the humerus. And in this, the common site of fracture uh, is the surgical neck of the humerus. Now let's move on the second part, uh, which is the distal end of the humerus bone, uh, meaning the lower end of the humerus. So here the common sites are the supracondylar region and the epicondyle of the humerus bone. Now talking about the third part, it's obviously the rest of the region that is the length of the humerus which we called as shaft. In shaft, the common site for fracture is mostly the mid shaft region of the humerus bone. So now let's study uh, this part in detail and the common site or frequent site or high risk site of fractures. So again, I am drawing the humerus bone here. Obviously, this is the right side humerus bone. So the first thing was the fractures at the proximal or the upper end of the humerus in which the surgical neck is likely to get fractured. So here is the surgical neck. This fracture usually occurred due to then falling on outstretched hand or direct blow on that area. The key neurovascular structure at risk are the axillary nerve and posterior circumflex artery. Now the second type of fracture site is at the distal end of the humerus. So here the likely structure to get fracture are supracondylar ridge and the epicondyle region. So here are those and the most common mechanism of the injury is falling on an outstretched hand and it is more common in children than that in adults. Particularly talking about the supracondylar fracture, here the potential damage uh, occurs to the brachial artery and the anterior interosseous nerve which is a branch of median nerve. And in the image, you can see the green is the median nerve and the red is the brachial artery. Now, talking about the epicondyle fractures of humerus, the medial epicondyle is likely to get fractured. And in here, the potential damage occurs to the ulnar collateral artery and the ulnar nerve. In the red, you can see that is ulnar collateral artery and the green color shows you the ulnar nerve. So now let's talk about the shaft fracture in which mid shaft fracture are at high risk. Uh, in such fracture, profundal brachial artery which is shown in red and radial nerve which is indicated in green color are at the high risk of getting damage as they are tightly bounded to each other in the radial groove. The radial nerve innervates the extensor of the wrist and in the event of damage to this nerve, the extensor will be paralyzed. This result in unopposable flexion of wrist which is known as wrist dog as shown in the image. Now let's summarize uh, the nerve damage using a mnemonic trick. So the trick here is ARAM. That is a vegetable as you can see on the screen. So A-R-U-M. So A stand for the axillary nerve which is here. R stand for the radial nerve which is here, U stand for the ulnar nerve which is in this side and M stand for the medial nerve which is in the middle. So this was the trick. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video hit the like button. Do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at the rate medical minion where I will be putting notes and short tricks. Thank you.